So what we're going to talk about today is getting a good square on a board using three different planes. A number 95, low angle, right angle plane, a duplex Philister number 78 by Stanley with a depth stop that you don't need so you raise it up out of the way and a fence which you will need hoping to keep it square. The third is using a Stanley number 386 fence attached to a number six in this case Stanley joining plane or you could attach it to a jack plane or five and a quarter student plane and uh, you would get maybe even a little more control. So we're going to start with the duplex filister and the problem is it has this little fence so it does a nice cut but the ribbon isn't the full width. That one actually was pretty good. Let's see how we did. Nice and square. The third, the second one that we're going to do is the one with the fence on it. And I think if you get over here, you can see this. And you see that's not a full width curl, so the other one was a little off. Then the third plane we're talking about is 95, which is great for a little toolbox. And you can only do a three quarter inch board or five eighths. It has room for an add on fence and it has a low angle, so it's good for the end grain, but you'll see how good a curl it gives. And you'll see just like a spill plane, it gives you a little spill, which they used to use to light the fire in the shop to transfer the, the fire from one to another. So this one just rides on the side of the board and in the end, no light, a perfectly square edge.